everyone, it's Bea Devine and we're moving on with our runes work and we've been doing a lot of toning um, using the vibration and the colour and the sound within our aura to make changes in our life and today we're going to be going on with this and we're working with uh, Isa which is just like the letter I if you are imagining that and Isa is also known as ice so we come to a wall in our life we come to a standstill so if you were having a reading with someone they would say okay there, this is a time for you to actually stop and think and focus on the self and focus on who you are stop trying to push through this wall because uh, you're not getting anywhere all you're doing is exerting all of your time and energy on that so you're just being asked to focus bring this awareness of yourself and there are some little points here um, so stillness and concentration controlled withdrawal having a realization to yourself elevation through conscious thought um, focus and awareness and masterful thoughts so being able to master any situation and becoming a master yourself we're all supposed to become masters of the universe so this is just a little lesson for us on focus if we are pushing too much in towards something or pushing in a direction and we're pushing uphill all the time we need to turn around focus on what we're doing and make it easier on ourselves. so this is the energy that comes in with ISA bringing in the energy of focus, bringing in the energy of easiness, of masterfulness um, and a lot of this is missing at times from our uh, chakras, from our aura, uh, especially the aura. The aura is the most important thing. Everyone talks about the chakras but the aura is the most important thing because if you haven't got the light coming in through the aura then how can you possibly get the right light and energy moving through your chakras? So by doing these colour sound vibration techniques especially with the runes and so you're learning a little bit about the runes as we're going along um, we're bringing it in and we're changing the way our aura vibrates and this then changes how we think and see things you know and how we can easily move through our life so here we go what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the sound E so it's actually going to be quite sharp and it's going to be quite high pitched and remember that I only do 10 of these. You can do these as many times as you like. But believe me, after 10, you're pretty, excuse me, you're pretty cleared out, okay? So, the uh, energy will be coming through as a high-pitched E. Okay? You can use your whole mouth to make that noise. E. You may feel it within uh, different areas of your body. You may feel it because we're using our mouth, and there's a lot of vibration going on there. You may feel that your sinuses get a nice clear out. Also feeling that the ears, you know, because we've been blocked in those areas, are going to get a clear out. And the crown chakra as well. So we can allow this light to move down throughout our body. So as we're making this sound, we're doing these chanting, we're doing a lot of more uh, work on ourselves than we actually realize. But the idea is to also try to imagine or focus on the color white moving down in. Every time we do the uh, sound, we imagine the uh, beautiful white light moving down through the crown chakra throughout our body, through and down, through and down. So this is a very, very healing, a very, very ancient and very, very uplifting uh, little exercise that we can do. So let's go working on uh, the focus all right, of white and uh, taking your time. Remember that we're going to be just be gently doing this and close your eyes and just do it as loudly as you can. And I'm only going to do 10 of these. So let's go. E
just been this massive clearing and I have to say like when we were making that noise it was also working right in the navel and the solar plexus sort of an area perhaps even moving into the base chakra area so the light was really getting in there for me you may find that there's light pouring into different areas of your life um, and it you know might be different than mine but um, just take note of areas in which you feel a different shifting uh, take note about how your whole, because my whole mouth, and you know, it was working in the nose, in the ears, in the crown chakra, down through the throat, of course. But it was quite hard to keep that high um, pitch sound going as well as making it long. So, um, you know, then obviously it's working on massaging the internal walls in your stomach so that we can sort of get them nice and strong as well. Um, so a good one if you're trying to lose weight, you can start doing a lot of these chantings and boy you'd feel your stomach going really nice and tight. So I hope that was helpful. Remembering ISA is bringing in the focus, you may feel like you're against a big ice wall. Okay. And if you were to walk on top of this ice wall or on an ice frozen ice lake, how carefully would you be treading? You know, you'd just be walking really, really carefully. And this is also another thing for you to remember. Take, be careful. Um, you know, if you, if you feel like you're pushing against this massive wall and you're not getting anywhere, change direction for a little bit of a while. But also remember to focus on yourself, give yourself time to rest and recuperate. And uh, you will see the reason why you've needed this little bit of a block in your life right now. So thank you all for listening to me. And until the next video, it's goodbye from me. Bye everyone. <laughs>